Welcome back to the channel everybody. So today we are actually addressing an issue that we've been having with our paint booth. As you guys know, we've been talking about replacing our filters for quite a long time now. And uh, so today we're finally going to get that done. <music> Thank you. 
That's crazy. We've the been the to history of this paint booth. It's like a tree. That's insane. We gotta get all that off. Yeah, is that off. red? Is that the fan? Yeah. Uh, isn't this the more important fan, right? Yeah. The yeah exhaust. The... Definitely more important. Yeah, we never cleaned this one. I don't know why we didn't clean it. You bought my son in the shift? No, we definitely didn't. Isn't the other side of it? No, just say it. Man, look at this transformation, absolutely amazing. We got everything painted, we got all the filters in the ceiling installed, and it's really funny that we actually put them all the right way. Look, all the letters are going one way. That's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. I never thought that that would happen, but it did, and I like the way it looks. It all looks very uniform, looks very good, and we got all the glass clean for the most part. We tried to take some of the glass out to fix these bulbs, but, uh, we made a little mistake from before. I think, I don't know if this is it or not, but the caulking that's around these moldings right here is holding the glass in there so tight that the glass just breaks when we try to take it out. So we're gonna leave those in for now and uh, we do actually have a few broken pieces up top that need to be replaced. All of these, one, two, three, four, four of those need to be replaced anyway. So we're going to order new glass and we'll get it for all the broken ones and then we'll just replace it all in one day so that's for the future it's not a big deal though because it's only a couple of bulbs and uh if you look down here you can see we have our new exhaust filters very nice all laid in one roll and uh, it was enough so we're good there and now let's turn this thing on it works man it works that's it
spray some. Go get some paint. Huh? Go get some paint. Nah. Nah, we can't ruin it. We can't we can't be painting in here. Hey, we can't be painting in here anymore. <laughs> It's too clean. It's too nice. This is more of like a uh, a white noise room now. We're yeah, just going to yeah. come in here, turn the fan on, and just hang out and relax. Uh, but yeah, it's looking really good. What else do you think we need to do, Nate? I kind of I kind of don't like that we didn't paint these uh, these grates. They look a little bit raggedy. I do agree. I know we're gonna get some comments about that, but here's the thing. I feel like those would have to be really sanded down and painted like. We, I don't want to put latex on there because if it peels, it's going to be falling into the paint. And then if you don't sand them down, you know, yeah. you could have paint peeling off. I think all it's missing is like a big old fat decal on that back wall. And that's it. Yeah, a big decal would be pretty cool. And then we need to spray all the walls down and everything with the booth coating. And that's basically going to do like a, it's going to seal it. And then uh, once it gets built up with a bunch of overspray, we'll hit it with the water hose and it'll all come off. So that's really cool that's what we should have done from the beginning but we didn't because i don't even know why we didn't we just didn't but we'll do it this time and i think it's going to be good so